everyone it's Jacqueline heirloom vintage and collectibles welcome back to the channel and I forgot something <laughs> my bad uh, you guys know the other day I was out thrifting at Goodwill and I wasn't planning on buying anything uh, but I found a couple things and I put up a video yesterday and lo and behold I'm like didn't I have something else by the way and I did but I forgot I had put it to the side I was unpacking the bags and I totally forgot the other items I bought so I'm going to share those with you today I'm back a little bit further so I can show you this gorgeous um well you know I like to call them genie bottles it's glass on the inside I kind of looked at it I was trying to find out how it was done like is it a flash on i couldn't tell it looked like it might be clear glass this might be a paint situation um there's the top i didn't really see any markings on it and i'm wondering if somebody actually painted over it but the part that i was really impressed with actually was this right here I have to find out what that symbol is. I'll take a photo of it and see. I haven't cleaned anything, by the way. Uh, I can tell that uh, I did see this little sticker on it. It's at Made in Spain. I don't know exactly. There was nothing on the bottom. But again, the whole goal of this particular bottle was really the shape. I mean, it's great. And then this symbol here. So that was one of the things I forgot. The other thing I picked up was this cute, I think it's a coffee cup. I think you guys saw it in the video. Now, of course, it's mass produced, as you can see on the bottom, made in China. I ended up paying a buck for it, so I couldn't pass it up. It's a tea cuppy cup saucer thingy. I haven't taken the tape off. I should have done that before I start filming because I wanted to make sure there weren't any breaks. I kept saying in the video I was going to take the tape off and look and this and that. And then I got caught up and um, I still forgot some things. Remember, I said, oh, I'm going to put this to the side. I'll come back to it later. I don't know if I was filming at the time, but there were a couple of things that I specifically remembered today, two days later, that I had picked up. Uh, something put it on the side said I was going to go back for it and forgot and I don't even remember which goodwill I was at so <laughs> so I know it's not there anymore it was a couple of desirable pieces that I was gonna get for a good price but this was really cool I really should take the tape off you guys you have to forgive me um let's see what I can do here let's see if I can maneuver this uh i just happen to have my scissors sitting next to me and i am going to use my left hand i like to cut with my left hand but i had to i'm a right-handed appendestrious person but i needed to use my um i'm holding the camera with my left so i can manipulate this with my right and why do they put this tape on here like that you guys goodwill can you guys talk talk to us resellers and thrifters and pickers so we can give you some advice on some of the way you merchandise your things so uh this is in good shape this is the head of the little person and then what i wanted to look at was the cups uh, saucer teapot um, contraption here. So let's see if I not, can I do this without breaking anything? And then here is the teapot. That is really cool. Uh oh, there's something in there. Okay. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know what it is. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm trying to focus. It looked like it's a bruise or burn. I know nobody could have been putting that on the stove. And then here's the cup. It's really cute. So 
I got this little number here. I thought it was nice. And I ended up paying a buck because it was 50% off. Um, I do have most of my holiday, like Christmassy type things all ready to go, uh, like in a group. I will um, probably do a haul on that. It's things I've collected. You may have seen a couple of things before. Now, there was a bag, and the bag, I don't see it. Um, it was like a plastic Ziploc-y bag, and it had these things in it, and it looked like it was something that was of interest. It was beautiful, as you can see, it's beautiful color, and they looked new, brand new. So I opened up the bag, and there were these pillow covers. Look how beautiful. And the colors are great. They're jewel-toned. Um items they are, are they are quality um they have the inseam zipper here i haven't tried to open that so you can either go and buy the pillow form and stick it in there and have like your this looks more like a maybe a 14 by 14 or something even 16 it's more than a 12 because that's 12 so Maybe a 16 by 16 pillow. And look at this gorgeous deer. And the it's so luxurious and soft. I have not decided if I'm going to put the uh, pillow form in there. Or you can stuff it with the foamy stuff. Now those do not have enough girth to me. They're not as um, substantial when you stick it in. You got to stuff, stuff, stuff so much stuff in there. Rather than like getting the pillow form to put in there. But I still haven't decided. And then the last thing that I forgot to show you guys yesterday. Again, this one I ended up... So, original price from... Where's this from? I think it's Stein's. We have a garden center here called Stein's. I don't know if it's national. But the original price was $11.99. They had a clearance at 6 bucks, And then it says here it was uh, created in 2002, which is really good info. But guess what, you guys? It was on uh, one ninety nine, and it was half off. So I ended up paying a buck for this gorgeous number. It's brand new, new old stock. It's vintage, two thousand two, <laughs> so it makes it twenty years old. And I've had these kind of things in the past. Okay, excuse me while I try to open it. I've had these things in the past, and what I've done was painted them. Now, I have not decided if I'm going to sell this, keep it, paint over it. It has a nice little scenery. It's decorative with the crazed um, age look. I forgot what they call that. Uh, shabby chic or whatever. But the inside was great. So, it's a cool key holder, and you could put earrings in there. You could put jewelry in here, but it's really cool because it already has the attachment to hang on the wall. I thought this was a great piece for five bucks. Crazy Mountain exclusive design. So, uh, but anything is for sale, y'all. So, if you see anything on the channel, you can always, like, send me a, in, uh, a message down below. And um, you can let me know if you're interested. So, there we have it. Um... I had forgot one more thing, and you guys see it, these gorgeous pieces that it was worth mentioning, and this is Jacqueline Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the other side.